This exercise is, is all about double defense, how you cover the court in the best possible way. This exercise is about um, obviously having quality in your lifting and uh, by having quality in your lifting you can position yourself accordingly so if the lift is towards the side your partner is covering the, the smash down the line and you sort of turn more towards the center and make sure that you cover the center of course you have to watch out for the cross court drop shot that's coming many times however it is a way of, of moving with your partner almost like you are moving within a string where you move together and cover the court in the best possible way so it's all about positioning and who to cover the center of the court The exercise is about those who are playing in, in the partnership, they always lift straight and it's the feeder at the back, the one that's smashing, who's actually sort of deciding whether it's changing from side to side. And as previously said, it's, it's all about having good quality in your lift, making sure that it's not too centre, but actually towards the side of the court that makes sure that you can cover the centre in a much more comfortable way. If the quality of your lift is not good enough and it's too centre, it means that your partner and yourself is sort of almost taken apart and the gap between you is too big because you have to cover a too big a court and therefore it's very important that you make sure that there's a quality in the lift of course it's got to have good length and on top of that try to see if you can place it towards the sideline which means that the cross player is covering the center As and when you are in a defensive situation, it's obviously very, very important that both players at the same time are very active. You have to be very active on your legs, on your feet. Don't stand still like you are sort of planted in cement. That's not the way to do it. Really be very active and make sure there's a lot of dynamic going on in order to cover the court in the best possible way. The one that's feeding from the back of the court has got a lot of options, can play whatever he or she feels from the back of the court. As and when you want to change to the other side, of course, the cross court drop shot is coming and then a, a straight lift from there. And then once again, it can be straight smashes. It can be towards the center. It can be high smashes, very deep smashes as well. There can be all sorts of variety into it, but it's all about when the cross court drop shot is coming, then of course the side is changing.